What is sarcoidosis and why is it sometimes mistaken for cancer? Sarcoidosis is a rare, enigmatic inflammatory disease characterized by the formation of granulomas, primarily affecting the lungs and lymph nodes. Due to its complexity and multifaceted symptoms, it's often mistaken for cancer in clinical settings, presenting diagnostic challenges for healthcare professionals. The first reason for this confusion is the appearance of granulomas on imaging studies. Whether through CT scans or PET scans, these clumps of inflamed tissue closely resemble cancerous tumors, thereby leading to potential misdiagnosis. The second element contributing to this confusion is the organ involvement. Like cancer, sarcoidosis can affect multiple organs, enhancing its camouflage. The third factor is its unknown etiology. The mysterious nature of sarcoidosis, thought to be a cocktail of environmental triggers and genetic predispositions, parallels the elusive causes of many cancers. Fourth, sarcoidosis often manifests with systemic symptoms like fatigue and weight loss, which are also symptoms commonly associated with cancer. Lastly, both conditions may present with elevated levels of serum markers, such as ACE in sarcoidosis and California 125 in ovarian cancer, creating an additional layer of diagnostic complexity. Adding to this narrative is the generally favorable prognosis for most sarcoidosis patients. Unlike cancer, which often requires aggressive treatment and has variable outcomes, the majority of sarcoidosis cases resolve spontaneously or respond well to corticosteroid treatment. Though they share similarities, it's crucial to note that unlike cancer, sarcoidosis is not malignant and its granulomas do not metastasize. For an accurate diagnosis, clinicians often rely on tissue biopsy, which differentiates non-malignant granulomas of sarcoidosis from cancerous cells. For more information, clinical guidelines on sarcoidosis can be found in medical journals like the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Organizations like the Foundation for Sarcoidosis Research offer extensive resources.